Hey guys, how are you all doing? Today we're going to talk about cooking in a wok. You know, many people have said to me, I don't have a wok, I can't make Chinese. I can't cook. You can. You can cook in anything. So let's just have a look at these. Now a normal Chinese professional wok has a rounded bottom, okay? So it sits in a ring and you rock it and you cook. So this is my two woks. I have a small wok and I have a large wok. Um, rounded bottoms but they're no good for the domestic stove. Not at all. They're not designed for a domestic stove. And if you cook on there with a wok, it tends not to sit properly on your domestic stove. So what happens is, a wok has been developed with a flat bottom to fit the domestic stove, okay? And they're very, very good and you can create a good restaurant quality meal with a non-stick flat bottom wok okay you just have to cook it in stages when you're cooking with a professional wok in a chinese you cook high heat and with it being rounded you can rock it around you can cook everything in one go okay and you'll get that nice smoky chat flavor you can't do that with a domestic wok, okay? It's impossible. Do not be fooled. It will never ever happen. All these people say, yes, you can. No, you can't. You physically can't. It's impossible. And what normally happens is, everybody throws everything in the wok and they cook it all together and they end up with soggy vegetables and everything. It's crowded. The wok is too crowded. You have to cook your ingredients or you have to pre-cook your ingredients separately and then throw them all back in the wok to finish off. Now I'm not going to use this, I'm going to use this. Okay, this is my new wok to cook on the stove. We have all the ingredients but I'm going to use a stainless steel mixing bowl. So let's go make chicken, green pepper, black bean sauce meal in a mixing bowl. Let's do this. Now guys, I'm not saying go cook all your Chinese in a mixing bowl, okay? But what I would like to demonstrate is that you can cook in any pan as long as you pre-cook your ingredients. Now most Chinese pre-cook the ingredients before they actually final fry. So, on our stove with our mixing bowl. And then we're going to add some water. Because what we would do with our chicken, we would pre-cook our chicken in boiling water to take it out. So let's get on and make our chicken, green pepper, black bean sauce. So let's bring the water up to the boil and then we'll add our chicken. The only thing is, cooking in a, a pan like this, this will get very, very hot. So you have to use a cloth. This is how hot the sides are, okay, you can see. This is not boiling, but this is red hot. So if you put the water there, you can actually see how hot this is. Okay, we got the water to boiling. Now we want to put our chicken in. There's our chicken. Yeah guys, chicken's cooked, let's take it out.
okay we need to drain our pan give it a wipe out and then what we're going to do is put in a tiny amount of oil we don't want lots of oil just a little bit and then get the pan warm and put in our garlic so it's a very very quick sort of a dry stir fry with the garlic so as you've seen we only put a tiny amount of oil in just to keep it loose in the pan and obviously we don't cook this for very long we only we don't want color all over this we just want a little bit of cooking on here and then we want to take it out Okay, get our bowl back on the uh, ring and put in a little oil, tiny amount of oil, the pan warms up, chuck in our veg and just give the veg a very very quick stir fry. As you can see this has got a little bit of charring on but we don't want to cook this down too much we actually just want to cook it a little bit keep it firm and then take it out So that's our veg pre-cooked. So we want to put in a little bit of oil. And here we go, making our black bean dish. In with the garlic, in with the veg. This is just sort of the same procedure as you would do with making it in a wok. In with the chicken. Give it a very quick stir fry, don't forget this is already cooked. In with a level tablespoon of black beans, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce and about a teaspoon of oyster sauce. Give it all a quick mixing through. quick splash of cooking wine, a little shake of white pepper, sesame oil, a splash of water, give it a little stir around. As soon as the uh, fluid starts to boil in, in with our cornstarch. And that's it, stir it round, thicken it up and it's ready to serve. So there you are guys, you can cook in any pan, small wok, frying pan, any pan, you just have to cook in stages. So there you are, our black bean, chicken, green peppers is done, serve it up and enjoy. There you go guys, perfectly cooked, soft, supple chicken,
and real crunchy vegetables. That is how to make your favourite Chinese takeaway. Chicken, green peppers, black bean sauce, made, crunchy, mmm. Chocolate chicken <coughs> made in my new wok. Okay, guys, no excuse for making your favorite Chinese takeaway meal in any pan. Now, if I can use a mixing bowl and cook the perfect, and I mean the perfect crispy cooked vegetables, tender chicken in a black bean sauce, you can do it at home. Now if you like what we're doing, don't forget, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. The secret is flash fry, then stir fry, and you have the perfect wok cooked meal. So there we are guys. If I can, you can in any pan.